Hello and welcome. Today we're going to go through a few features you might need in PowerPoint for your practical exam. We're going to go through Slide Master, creating slides, and printing handouts. So let's jump right in and have a look at PowerPoint then. So the first thing we're going to look at is creating a template on Master Slide. So first thing we need to do is go and view that. So I'm going to click on View and Slide Master. I'll scroll up to the top. Now, you need to make sure that you are on the first slide. So when it starts out, you're on the second slide like that. Scroll right up to the top. This is the main slide here that you're going to be editing. Now, what I might want to be doing is perhaps changing my color. So I'm going to go to Background Styles and Format Background. I'm going to choose a solid fill and I'm going to choose a color there now might want to edit the title might want to make that bold perhaps I might want to make that italic this is the different textiles I've got here now if I go to slide master and close slide master view I can see what my slides are going to look like so when I insert a new slide with the layout there this title is now bold and italic now, if I go back to Slide Master view, Slide Master controls every slide on your presentation. So you can set up your themes, your styles here. Might want to insert a placeholder. So I'm going to go down to this slide here. I'm going to delete this box and I'm going to go to insert placeholder. I'm going to insert a picture. I'm going to drag it into position like that. A placeholder is where you're going to put a picture on the slide. So I'm just going to pop that there and you can see it says picture. And now I'm going to go back to Slide Master and close the master view and just take a look at that. So let's go and see what that does then. If I insert a new slide and look at two content there, I should be able to see what I've just made. Okay, so now I've got this picture placeholder and if I double click on there, I can add an image. So I can go to my pictures there and I can add, add an image there if I want to. Okay, like that for example. Okay, and what you can see that does is that places that into that exact size there. So the good thing about that is it, it resizes the image to the exact size that you want that you specified in the slide master. Now, I don't want these design ideas. I'm going to close them. I wouldn't recommend you use them in your exam because they probably won't be appropriate and they won't be what you want to use. So that is how you insert a placeholder. What about footers? So we go back to the Slide Master, go View and remember Slide Master, scroll up to the top. My footer is what is down here, what I'm clicking on here. It's got a date by default. It's got a footer. I can put in some details there. So name, candidate details, etc. And if we see this brackets there, hash, so what that says there is like bracket, hash symbol, bracket, that means slide number. So that is how you number the slides. Now, with the backgrounds, I can also choose themes probably not really appropriate in your exam to do that so the main thing there is I can also change the slide size to standard or widescreen I'll keep it in widescreen you don't really need to change it to standard but with these background styles I can also choose a picture background if I want it or a gradient fill there and if I just move my camera across you can see the different options I've got here I've got preset gradients Probably the best thing to do in your exam would be to stick to a solid color background. Probably a light, a light color background would be the most appropriate, a solid color. So that is how you edit the Slide Master. Don't forget when you've finished, I'm just going to move this back. When you've finished, don't forget to click Close Master View or you will be editing the slide the slide master so always slide, slide close slide master view there 
One last thing, sorry, view. Just go back to Slide Master. One last thing. Um, I could move this in. And there might be occasion where I need to insert um, a picture there. I need to insert an icon or a logo. So I'm just going to choose a logo to insert there, CS Gooper. And I'm just going to shrink that down to size there. And move that over. So I should be editing this slide. Make sure you edit the top slide. So I just go back up to there. Insert picture. Okay. And I'm going to place my CS Scuba logo on there. And I'm just going to shrink it down to size. So if my house style says logo top left hand corner. If I close my slide master view, it's always going to be in the top left hand corner. Okay, just to be aware, it's also on the title slide as well. So you might want to think, um, is it appropriate to do that there? Perhaps you just want to insert it on a new slide. But that is slide master view. Don't forget to close slide master view after you've finished editing it. And you can use that to edit every slide. And that is how you create a slide master. Okay, in this section, we're going to look at creating slides, inserting text images, action buttons, hyperlinks, adding animation, transition effects. So I'm about new slide and I can choose the layout there. I'm going to choose a title at the top. So just simply type my title at the top. Uh, my text in bullet point form goes underneath. What I would recommend you do is you follow the golden rule of five plus or minus two bullets per slide. Anything else, any extra text needs to go into speaker notes down here. So I really would try and get uh, text out to a minimum on the bullet points here, not loads and loads of text. If you're given loads of text in your exam question, then I would just kind of try and get it into bullet points and paste the main body of the text into notes. So what you want is the kind of summary points here and you want your main text in your speaker notes. That's what you're going to read out to the audience. So images. Now remember, if I use the slide master, I can create a new slide and I can insert a placeholder for an Im image. Also, I can just simply go to insert pictures and it should be, you should have a folder full of images and you can insert the image that you want there. So there's my image that I want and I can place it there and I can resize it. If it's too big, I can crop it down. I've got the option to crop it if I want to there. If I just want Bart Simpson there. I can also add different effects to it, artistic effects. I can remove background there. So if I just want Bart Simpson, I can mark areas to keep there. So I've just got Bart Simpson, nothing else. And I can also mark areas to remove there. So keep changes. I've just got Bart Simpson in there. Action buttons. Insert, shapes, scroll down, action buttons, forwards, backwards. So I can just simply put a forwards and backwards button on there. Hyperlink to where? Next slide. Yep, that's quite straightforward. Insert, pictures, sorry, shapes, scroll down, action buttons there. Hyperlink to previous slide. Well, there isn't a previous slide, but just say there was. Click OK. OK, resize it. I can recolor these buttons if I want. If I don't like the blue, I can change the color there. But I'll probably stick to the blue. The blue is fairly, fairly neutral looking. OK, if I just insert. I'm just going to insert a new slide. I'm just going to pop that there. Let's have a look at that preview. So that goes to the first slide there and that goes to the next one. Action buttons are really good. 
insert shapes I've got a home button now which will take me back to the home slide I've got this button here which will take me to the end slide and I've also got blank buttons there as well so I could make um, hyperlink to and I could choose a slide a specific slide in there which slide did that go to slide three click OK right click on it okay I can add text onto it edit text and I can write slide three and then if I just preview that that takes me to slide three so if I put on here a home button that's going to take me back home hyperlink to first slide preview that takes me to the first slide there okay so if I just go like this layout slide one home let's try that out again get rid of design ideas there preview home that takes me home animation I may want my text to be animated so text one text two and I want them to appear differently so I go to animations appear like that animations appear I can have that on click or after previous there I can set the timings there I'm just going to have mine on click preview so when I click there the text appears slide transitions if I go to transition there okay I can choose the transition now I can have it on mouse click or after so many seconds okay so maybe after five seconds and I'm going to apply that to all so I'll preview that so we count five seconds and that appears go to the next slide there okay so that is slide transitions and that is how we create slides and add animation images text and create transitions now we're going to look at printing so I need to learn how to print handouts to so two or three to a page notes pages full page and edit those headers and footers so one thing you will be doing in your exam is printing and um, please make sure that you print it on a good quality printer and the examiner can see everything you've done really really important because people have been marked down because the examiner can't see what they've done and they've lost marks they may have done a brilliant piece of work but they've lost marks because of rubbish printing so if I go to print now and I've got different options here of what I can do so do I want it full full page slides do I want my notes pages so that is the hand the notes pages I've written underneath there have got any or do I want it two slides per page or do I want it three slides per page with notes six slides horizontal I'm just going to stick with two slides now and then I click print to my chosen printer now I may want to edit the footer there so I click on edit header and footer and in my footer I can put my name candidate details center number and I can also number the page if I want to I can also date and time it as well if I want to apply to all so now we can see at the bottom I've got my name candidate details center number on every page that is really really important if it comes out the printer it's got to have your name on it it's got to have your details on it otherwise it's not your work so please make sure that you print clearly you print on good quality printer doesn't need to be color but it does need to be good quality that the examiner can see exactly what you've done otherwise you're going to lose marks and it might not be your fault you just printed it out on a particularly great printer and you'll lose marks for that in your exam so that is how we do printing in powerpoint